Hello and welcome back to Excelsif. This is the third part of our 100 Pro Tips of Pivot Tables. If you recall, we have already covered these tips in our previous videos. I'll leave a link of previous parts on top right and in the description and also the link to our Pivot Tables video in case some of you still have issues with understanding Pivot Tables. If you're excited to unlock the full potential of Pivot Tables, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest insights. You can add highlighted top and bottom formatting to your pivot tables easily. Simply select the values which need to be highlighted and go to conditional formatting here and choose top bottom rules and select any one of these you want. We are going to check about average and then leave the coloring options as is and we get these cells highlighted. Let's quickly check if we have done it right. We'll use the average formula here and we have our average value. And yes, all the cells highlighted here are more than this average. Job well done. Maybe you don't like this default arrangement of the fields window. No issues. You can change it by clicking on this gear icon here. And we have about five different layout options. And you can choose whichever one you feel is the most productive for you. You know when you have to go to a cell in the pivot table, right click and then click on refresh, sometimes it's too much. So simply use Alt F5 to refresh your pivot table, quick and simple. You can have all this data and it sure looks a bit chaotic. If you wish to collapse them all instead of going like this, clicking on each of these dash signs, right click on any of these fields and go into expand collapse. Here we have the option to either expand or collapse only this field or all of them. We are going to go with this one collapse entire field and it collapses everything at once. Much better. Most of us are now working in laptops in offices and that means the screen real estate is limited and therefore precious. And let's face it, we are mostly looking at our data here rather than these boxes here. So they can go away, right? Definitely they can. You can simply click on this cross here and they are gone. When you need them, just go to the pivot table, analyze tab and this last group here, titled show, just click on the option field list and there they are, back again. By the way, you can choose the same option to hide them as well. And if you right click on any field here, you have an option to hide and show pivot table list depending on whether the fields are hidden or present. Let's say we want to see which store has had the most sales and rank all the stores according to sales. You can copy all of this, paste it in a new sheet and then sort them, but that's tedious. Let's simply drag some monthly sales figures in the values box. Right click on this option here, rank largest to smallest and we are done. So according to this, Istanbul has done the most sales in the month of January. In this sheet here, we have sales figures from January and February. Let's say we need to find the difference between the two. So what do we do? We need what is known as a calculated field, which is not present in your main data, but exists solely in this pivot data. To add a calculated field, we are going to use keyboard shortcut Control shift and the plus sign. Mind you, the plus sign on my number pad didn't work and I had to use the one on the equal to key. You might have to check it for your keyboard. So, we press Control shift and the plus key and we are presented with this option. In this field here, we are going to write our formula, just like we would have written otherwise. Jan 2023 minus Feb 2023. So we bring Jan 2023 from this field box here by double clicking on it, then put a minus sign and then double click on February 2023. Finally hit OK. And here we have the difference between January 2023 and February 2023. Let's say we need to check which countries in Europe have had sales more than 125,000. So we go to our filter in countries and select Austria, Czech Republic, France, Germany, Greece, 
Italy. Well, you get the idea. But now, when we go to the filter in the value field, we don't have a filter available. Let's fix that. Let's clear the filters first. Now, let's go to the pivot table, analyze tab, options, and then to totals and filters and put a check mark here where it says allow multiple filters per field. Now let's go back to our countries list and select our countries from Europe, but at least some of them. Once you are done, go into value filters and click on is greater than option. Mention 125,000 here and hit OK. Now we have the countries in Europe where sales is greater than 125,000. We know pivot table summarized data. So what we are looking at is simply the sales of a particular country in a month. But we don't know what brings us to this number here in front of, let's say Italy, which we know has about five stores in our data sheet and each store probably has offline and online sales as well. To know this, we have two options. Either double click on the sales figure here or right click and choose this option, show details. Excel creates a new sheet where we can see the breakup of how our pivot table has reached this number. Cool, eh? When you are working with many fields, sometimes it's a daunting task just to find a particular field. So if you know the name of the field, you will have to go through all these fields here to find it. Excel gives you an option to make your life a bit easier. There are two sort options. If you click on this gear symbol and look down here, by default, your pivot table starts with sort in data source order, meaning as they appear in your main sheet. You can change it to sort it to alphabetical format by clicking on this option here and you will have your fields sorted in alphabetical order. It won't change anything in your pivot table but might make your job a bit easier. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning some more tips about pivot tables. I hope you have subscribed and hit the bell icon because we still have about 70 tips left to share with you. We won't stop until you become a pivot table master. So share this video with other enthusiasts like you and comment if you have a great tip to share with us or you know just to share your feedback. We love that. Thanks for watching Excelsive and until next time, happy spreadsheeting.